that is mightily impressive from Sebastian Bourdais. And he's still, you know, his best lap, he's still not only the only one into the 1 minute 10s, but a 1 minute 10.3 has been his best. That's, uh, you know, almost a full second on everybody else. He just loves this racetrack, and, and it shows he's got the confidence, John. Oh, and, and that's what it's all about, to be honest, particularly on a circuit like this. Um, the drivers tell us that there's never any issue with track limits here. Side by side coming out to turn five. You can't have any uh, issues with track limits here and be greedy because you're going to clout a concrete wall. And that was people to Rani going through on Blomqvist. Durrani a second and Bordet has got a third, followed him through. It was really forceful driving by the Brazilian in the red and white number 31 wheel and engineering Cadillac but he's managed to make it go, got a really good run uh, coming into five and slid up the right-hand side of Blomqvist and made it stick by the time he got the six. And, of course, Bordier, in the mood he's in, was thinking, yeah, thanks very much, people. You've kicked the door in. I'll follow you through. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. Super afternoon. And thank you for joining us, whether you're at the track, whether you're listening on Sirius 207 or around the world on RS2, the home of IMSA Radio at imsaradio.com. Live World Feed TV with this audio. If you're outside the US and your territory doesn't have a network TV deal, coming up to, in fact, just after half past 10 in the UK, half past 11, and Bordier is going through to second side by side. Three cars across the track as the Aston Martin of Heart of Racing there just had to hold its line. And that was Roman De Angelis, I think, who did exactly the right thing. And the two Cadillac prototypes, one either side, and Bordier made the best pick and goes back to second place and is now fewer than three seconds behind the leader he's up behind the faf porsche now so actually that must have been ross gunn in the pro aston martin that they've just gone through and now the second third and fourth place cars are back together again as they carve their way through the gt traffic this is phenomenal stuff jeremy imza at its best